Hey guys, this is Edwin. We're going to be learning about how to upload your sermons on a Squarespace website. So I'm going to be using Genesis Upper Room Church as an example for their website. And I will be using their website to upload the sermons. And so first, you got to have a Squarespace account. Once you get a Squarespace account, create the website. And let's say you have created the website and you're wondering how to upload your sermons. And that's what we're going to learn about today. So first, you got to go to the dashboard, and this is the first part that you see right here with the home page. And then what you're going to do, you're going to go to pages right here. And then after that, you're going to go all the way to the bottom where you go to the blog section. So you got to press the blog. So you're going to press blog. So this is the part where all the blogs are posted. So all you have to do is press the plus sign, and I'm going to press it. After that, this is the part where you have to put the title. So put the title of your sermon. For this example, I'm going to be using one of the YouTube videos that they uploaded, and it's uh, Identity by Michael Galetta. So I'm going to just type that in. All right, so after I put the title, I'm going to put the video. So what you got to do for this part is get the link for this so first grab the link from the YouTube video so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to options the three dots right here I'm gonna press on it I'm gonna press get shareable link I'm gonna go back I'm gonna press this plus sign again after that I want to search for video and it's right here on the third one from the left so I'm gonna click on it after that you want to go to video URL just copy and paste it in there and it should say successfully located and the thumbnail that you have posted on the YouTube channel is gonna show up you can easily change this by go to going to the custom thumbnail and turning it on so if you turn it on and you can add an image for this example I'm not gonna do that since there's already a thumbnail but if you want a thumbnail you can easily go to websites like unsplash and get a copyright free images and make your own graphic out of it so for the next one after you post the video up here you're gonna press the plus sign again and what I like to do do I actually like to put an audio for listeners that want to listen to audio only besides the video so what I can do here is I'm gonna go to embed right here I'm gonna type embed and I'm gonna go to code actually and and then I'm gonna put the code right here. So you're wondering what is this code right here? So for Genesis Up From Church, they actually have audio files on Spotify. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to go to the Spotify and get the code for this. So here I'm on the Spotify and I see the sermon right here is Identity by Michael Galetta. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to three dots again. And this is already uploaded and you can easily listen to this on Spotify. But if people want to find it on our website, um, and this is for the part where we're going to put the code. So we're going to go to the three dots right here. We're going to press share. We're not going to press this. Sorry. We're going to hover over it. And then we're going to go to copy embed code. After that, you want to go back. You just want to delete this and then just copy and paste that in there. And we got it going right here. So what you want to do is click out of this. And it looks like there's like a little bit of text that just appeared right here. I don't know why that's here. So I'm just going to delete it. And this is pretty much good to go. So you can actually stop right here and just save and publish it if you like. I'm not finished yet. So I'm just going to press save for right now. All right. So this is what it looks like. It has the video, it has the title, it has the Spotify audio file right here. And you can actually listen to it. So if I press the button, as you can see, you can hear it right now. And then after that, you can see if this one's working too. You can press the play button and you can tell it's working. All right, so what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna go to the back end of this and go to edit. And then once we go to edit, we're gonna go to options. And what you can do here, you can actually put up an image and you wanna do this uh, because you want a thumbnail for your website. So right now it's blank and I'm gonna show you real quick what it looks like. So if I just get out of this, so this is what it looks like on the block section of the website. As you can see, there's a title, but there's no image right here. So that's the whole point of putting a thumbnail for it. So I'm going to go back to edit and then I'm going to go back to options and then upload an image. So what I can actually do, I can do two ways of going about this. I can actually get the YouTube thumbnail and just upload it as an image, which is what I'm going to do for this tutorial example. Or you can search for an image and just put a new one in there. And so for this example, I'm going to upload an image. Now to actually upload an image, you have to go to your YouTube. So you got to go to details. You got to go to the bottom right here and then you see the three dots again and then you got to press it. You got to press download. The image is going to appear and you're going to just save this to your computer. All right, so I'm back to the website. So all I'm going to do is just upload it to this website right here. So it's successfully uploaded. It looks great. I think it looks good to me. So we can go to the back end again and check out the other tabs. For this video, I'm not going to do this right now, um, but it is recommended to actually fill out the SEO title because this is what it's going to look like. And you want to fill out the SEO description. And so after that, there's a social one right here. 
and then after that, there's a share one right here and there's a location you definitely want to look through all of these tabs just to make it better on your search engines uh, but you don't have to do anything uh, the most important things to do is the content and the options section right here so after that I'm gonna press save so I'm at the actual website of encountergenesis.com just to check it out to see how it looks like and this is the one we just posted so I'm gonna click on this and it looks great to me the titles right there the videos right here and the audio files here